Okay, we're going to look at another optimization problem for calculus. And this one kind of falls right after the last video where we optimized the perimeter of a fence. And this one's very similar, just a tad different. And notice, so suppose you are building a fence to enclose your pea patch, but you only have 600 feet of fencing to use. You will use part of this fence to build a fence across the middle of the rectangle to divide it into two sections. Find the length and width of the rectangle that will allow you to have the largest possible pea patch. Hey, you love your peas, man, and you just got to figure out what is the perfect pea patch to build. And we're on a quest to figure that out. So, notice what we're doing in this one. We are finding the largest possible pea patch. What is that trying to optimize? Well, we're trying to find the max of something. We're trying to find the maximum area. I am trying to build a pea patch to enclose the maximum amount of peas. So what are we trying to optimize? Max area. And again, start with drawing a diagram. What does this look like? Um, I've got a rectangular pea patch. Um, you're fencing across the middle of the rectangle, so I'm gonna have something here again. So what are my dimensions here? Again, I'm gonna try to create an equation to model this. I've got length and I've got width. So my area is equal to length times width. Uh, it's just a rectangle, piece of cake. Um, that middle thing doesn't really affect the area, it's just length times width. But optimizing, I need something, am I constrained by anything for my maximum area? Because otherwise, hey, I love my peas. I would make the length a million, the width a million, and I could have peas for days. But I am constrained by something. I only have 600 feet of fencing to use. Okay, that, what is, what is constraining me? My perimeter, 600 feet. So I've got perimeter is equal to, well in this case that middle thing does affect me. So I have perimeter equal to 2 times W plus 3 times L. L and W like that. So this I'm doing this problem right after just because it's important to focus what you're trying to optimize. In this case, we're trying to optimize the area and we are constrained by the perimeter. In the previous problem, we were trying to optimize the perimeter, but we are constrained by the area. All right, so in this case, uh, what does the perimeter have to be? Well, I only have 600 feet of fencing. So the perimeter is equal to 600, uh, which is equal to two times W plus three times L. Okay, I'm trying to find the maximum area. So with my area equation of length times width, I want that to be the biggest. I need to find the critical numbers because maximums only occur at critical numbers or endpoints if we have a closed interval. But I'm in two variables, length and width, so I need to go to my uh, constraining equation over here. Uh, why don't I just write that above here, my constraints or my secondary equation that contains the same two variables and I need to solve for one. Um, let's solve for W this time. So we'll go 600 minus 3L is equal to 2 times W divide by 2 and I get 600 minus 3L is equal to W. Oh, sorry, divided by 2. So I have 300 minus 3L divided by 2 equals W. We're going to take that chunk and plug it in for W here and we get area is equal to length times 300 minus 3L over 2. Simplify that a little bit. 300L minus 3L squared over 2. So my area is going to equal that. And again, we're trying to find the maximum area. So we are going to find the critical numbers of this guy. Take the derivative. So A prime is equal to 300 minus 2 times 3L over 2. That's a power rule. I bring down the 2 from the exponent. So I get 300 minus 3L. We are trying to find the critical numbers, so we'll set it equal to 0. So 3L equals 300, which means L equals 100. So 100 is where one of the critical numbers occur. In fact, only one for this equation. So that's the only place a max can occur. 
However, let's think about the feasible domain. Perhaps we have a closed interval. Um, what can L be? Uh, in fact, we are a little bit restrained in this case. So on the low end, uh, L could be zero, it can't be negative. So L has to be um, greater than or equal to zero. Uh, is there an upper bound? Well, I only have 600 feet of fence to deal with. So I cannot let L be greater than 600 for sure, but even more. Notice in my equation, I have to use the length three times, okay? It's three times used because of that middle divider. So really L has to be less than or equal to 200, okay? Because if L is bigger than 200, I'm gonna use more length than I have or more fencing than I have. So in fact, I have this domain of zero to 200, so I have a closed interval. And by the extreme value theorem, I'm going to need to check my points. So my maximum can only occur at an endpoint or a critical number. So I need to check all of these in the original function, my endpoint of zero, my critical number of 100, and my other endpoint of 200. And the max is going to occur at one of those by the extreme value theorem. And again, I'm plugging these into the original function. So my original function over here. So at zero, well, that's easy. That gives me an area of zero. So I doubt I'm gonna pick that one. I'm getting zero P's there and I, I would not be happy with that. What about 100? Well, there I have 300 times 100 minus three times 100 squared. And it, when you do 100 squared, you get 10,000. So it's three times 10,000 divided by two. All right, this simplifies to 300 times 100 is 30,000. And then over here you have 10,000 divided by two is 5,000 minus three times 5,000, so 15,000. So it equals 15,000. And at 200, I have 300 times 200 minus three times 200 squared, which is 40,000 divided by two, so it's 20,000. 300 times 200 is 60,000 minus 60,000 is zero. Well, I have a clear max, a clear maximum of 15,000. Or the largest patch I can create is a P patch of 15,000 square feet. And that occurs if I let the length equal 100 feet and my width equal, well, what is the width? We can go back to our problem over here where in this case I have 300 minus three times 100 divided by two equals W, so I have 300 minus 150, so 150 equals W. So the largest P patch I can get is 15,000, length of 300, length of 100, width of 150. So a little bit different, pay attention to what you're optimizing. In the last one we optimized perimeter, in this one we optimized area, and it's just the same equations, but set up a little different. In this case, we also had a closed interval as far as our domain goes, which means I had to check the endpoints by the extreme value theorem. At times, your maximum min may occur at those endpoints, so always check them.